Greetings fellow couponers and shoppers. This is Thursday, January 4th, and this is a small Walmart haul. I did. Uh, yep, yeah, first time I've done some serious couponing at Walmart in a long, long time. And just like I mentioned in yesterday's video about Target, uh, that's one of the reasons I stopped shopping at Walmart was the very same reason as uh, always out of stock on stuff, but it's... Uh, Kind of ironic turn of events here the two stores i've gone to here in the last two days have actually had what i was looking for and the third store well, i'll mention later was <laughs> out of stock <laughs> so anyway in case you missed it there are some four dollar off one coupons on the big soleil soleil however you say this uh this is the three pack it Walmart, they are $3.27, and I used, and I bought two of them, and I did use the two $4 off of one coupon, so that made it an overage of uh, 73 cents. Now, because I have not been in Walmart in a long, long time, yesterday when I printed those coupons out, I thought, well, I better check the uh, coupon policy, so I went online and, and checked it and see how they would uh, deal with uh, overages. And I and I'm, it looks like they're still paying. If you if I wouldn't have bought anything else, they would have given me what uh, 73 cents overage for each one, which would have been a dollar 46. I guess they would have paid me back. But I I elected to go ahead and pick up a couple things. Uh, uh, the Kiwi shoe polish. I've been needing this brown polish for a long, long time. Uh, I've got a, some cycling shoes that. Bike, or they're not cycling, they're just shoes I use in biking and cycling that, that, that are brown that, need, that desperately need some polish on them. And I mainly wear them in the wintertime because they have the leather uppers and of course and they get a lot of crap on them from the road. This was $2.96. I did not have any coupons for this so I just applied the overage uh, to this stuff here. This was just an impulse buy, this old-fashioned hard candies. This is six out. That was just 50 cents. And then, of course, they had it conveniently located right at the front of the store where you walk in. And, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I bought one pair. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. Uh, well, the, the, these are $1.47 a pound, so this was 74 cents. And I yesterday, I also, for the first time, and again, welcome to the 20th century. I signed up for Ibotta. And so I got a few uh, rebates on, on on the app. And one of them is 50 cents off a pair. So this pair is probably going to end up paying or costing me 24 cents. Likewise, I had uh, a 25 cents off of some bananas. Those were 44 cents a pound. I got two pounds, 88 cents minus a quarter. And I should get 50 cents off of uh, just that... Uh, on one item so I should get a dollar and a quarter back I ended up paying out of pocket for all this four dollars and 43 cents well, like I said by the time you deduct the dollar 25 it's just over three dollars which is basically buy this and get the rest of this free so uh, it wasn't too bad at all considering in fact I was really quite pleased with it considering I have not been in Target for ages uh, the one store that's really disappointing me lately is CVS, and I went to two of them today, and they, at one store, the red box machine, well, I don't know, at both of us, they get back, was, uh, uh, red box machine wasn't working, and also they did not have what I was looking for, so, and this has been going on for a few weeks now, but I, it's kind of ironic that the two stores I have not set foot in in the last couple of years, hardly, uh, because they've traditionally been out of stock, have had what I've wanted. And the store, the one store that I've done a whole heck of a lot of shopping in the last few years, has now all of a sudden become, you know, a giant disappointment. So maybe it's time to expand my horizons and. Who knows? I still got some ECBs I got to use up uh, anyway. So hopefully CGS will get their act together. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.